Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Drake, and today we're talking about starting a YouTube channel. How this is going to work is I'm going to have two webcams, two um, softwares. These, this is for gaming videos. Um, two, two softwares, two webcams, two headphones, two mic arms, and two microphones, and then two lighting alternatives, and then each of these is going to have, there's going to be a more expensive option, and then there's going to be the, um, less expensive option. So the less expensive option is for people who are either on a low budget or aren't really looking to do this for a long time. Just like it's for the people who want to do like a Twitch stream every couple months or something like that. And then the more expensive option is if you have a more decent amount of money to spend and you want to do this for a longer amount of time. Either you plan on doing this as your job if you're already like making money off of it or something like that or if you like to do it for fun but you want to have as high of quality of a video as you can and unless I say that I've owned whatever I'm talking about on the in the video I have watched like 20 to 30 videos over the product just to get as much of a overview as I possibly can and as much insight. So first off, our first webcam we're going to start with is the Logitech 270 webcam, obviously from Logitech, it shoots in 720p that is what i'm using right now so you can be the judge for yourself on that one definitely recommended next webcam is this one right here oh by the way the other one comes in at about 22 dollars this one comes in at about 50 it's on a sale right now but yeah logitech C920 webcam shoots in 1080p. It's just a really high quality webcam. Watched a lot of reviews. High quality product. Next is microphones. And the first one I recommend the budget option is the Blue Snowball Ice microphone goes for about $50 and that is what I am using right now to record this video so once again you can be the judge for yourself I think it sounds really good as well as owning this I have also watched multiple reviews before I have purchased this item actually so yeah and the more expensive one is this one right here now it's more common for people to recommend something like a blue yeti which i don't quite recommend because i think this has a slightly better sound it's just a little more expensive and audio technica at2020 usb plus it's only a little more expensive and i think it has a better sound and it's more compact and it weighs less for if you get a cheaper stand with the more expensive mic option and stuff like that unless you find it on like sale or used like a blue yeti they have sales for like eighty dollars occasionally then i would recommend getting one because it's still about the best deal if you're just starting youtube etc so yeah once again multiple reviews next mic arms first one i recommend is a newer suspension scissor arm with pop filter it's an extra two dollars with the pop filter 
but it makes it sound a lot better. This is the kit that I have purchased. It's about $15, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, you don't need the stand, but you can't get like $5 off just because that's there. So, yeah, and then the more expensive is the Rode PSA-1. You probably see this all over YouTube, too. It's a much larger one, and and it can also hold much more weight. It's probably much more well-built as well. So if you have like, like a much heavier microphone, like a Shure SM7B or something like that, recommend. But for something like the AT2020, unless you need that extra reach from the larger arm definitely just get like the near newer one just a side note next headphones the lower price headphones i recommend are the audio technica ath m20 x's they are about 50 bucks i've they're they're supposedly really high quality headphones i've not owned either of the headphones and only one left in stock well maybe you can't get them quite yet if you're doing that apparently but yeah they're headphones audio technica you want to get reputable brands when it comes to that because you know you're getting what you pay for unless it's stuff like razor they overpriced the stuff just because they're razor razor means expensive so yeah next headphones is now i could have said the m50 x's because they're a little bit cheaper than this and they are some of the most praised headphones ever but for long longer periods of time with m50 x um leather ear cups and stuff like that they can get a bit more warm and for really long sessions that's a bit more uncomfortable and these have memory foam pads that you can see here with more the breathable fabric more breathable fabric gets little more heat resistance and yeah super nice studio quality headphones there you go and next we're going over the lighting now i don't actually have the first one on Amazon, I can't find it. It might be a Walmart exclusive, I don't know. But I use two $7 LED lamps from Walmart, the Goosenecks. So if you have a um, Walmart near you, you should be able to find those. They're about $7 a piece, and this is what the lighting looks like. You can change it around by adjusting the heads and where they're pointed. Mine are fairly angled away, so they're not super bright because then they blind me. But yeah, and then these I'm back <laughs> okay someone was downstairs um and then the lighting for the more expensive option is the soft boxes usually I would recommend umbrellas but they take up a lot more room even though they are a little bit cheaper and they're the studio FX and it's a full kit it comes with light bulbs and everything and the reason I recommend this one is because it's a four light bulb kit instead of one of the like newer ones, which is a single light bulb in the center. So it doesn't produce the bright vividness and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, and next I don't have the things, but ooh four softwares because the two thumbnail softwares and also the recording softwares first is the recording softwares the one that i'm using that i recommend is the more expensive option it's about forty dollars i'm not using the more expensive version because i'm using the demo of the more expensive version and it works quite well i really like it and everything it's called Bandicam, so definitely recommended. 
bandy cam. It's it's awesome. And then the other one I recommend is OBS Studio. It's free. A lot of big YouTubers use that one as well. A lot more than bandy cam, and it's actually free, but it's not like that one's much better than this one. I just really, I really like this one. I personally think it's awesome. Those are the two recording softwares, and also thumbnails. Thumbnails are pretty important. I, I personally use the free option called GIMP. Just look up a tutorial on how to use GIMP. G-I-M-P. It's a really nice software for editing thumbnails and everything. It's also, it's also can do other stuff, but it's mainly made for photo stuff. It's marketed as a photo manipulation software, so it works great for thumbnails. Just look up a tutorial, GIMP thumbnail tutorial. It'll come up with how to use it, and you can make some pretty good thumbnails. And the other one is, of course, a subscription based one. I think it's like 20 to 40 dollars a month. I didn't look it up before recording this and it is Adobe Photoshop. So yeah, Adobe Photoshop. It's like one of the biggest softwares on YouTube for thumbnails and everything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty cool. And obviously you don't need the more expensive option and other stuff you don't even need like an expensive keyboard or mouse if you have like a decent enough computer to run like games always go with a nice mouse get a decent mouse what I'm using is a Corsair Qatar super nice mouse I do don't do high FPS gaming because my computer is not that great but yeah just a little side note but anyway i hope you guys found this video helpful if you need any more help with stuff like your setup in youtube videos comment at me down below if there's like a product you want help with checking if it's any good if it's like an ultra cheap option because it's either on sale or you couldn't get like the more even the cheaper option that I recommended but yeah I would love to help you in the comments but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did slap the like button subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one